Hi, this is Dark Jedi, and today I'm going to be showing everyone how to run their PCs off of free uh, security software. And I guess we'll get started. First of all, um, let's start off with antivirus software. A vast antivirus. This is my favorite antivirus software. Excuse me, I have bad allergies today. Well, not today for the past couple weeks, but um, this is uh, my favorite antivirus software program. And a lot of people are sit there and brag about AVG, the free uh, edition. And I'm not a real big fan of it actually. It does have a faster scanner than uh, Avast, but um, it uh, lacks a lot of features that Avast has. For example, the on-access scanner. The free version of AVG does not have an on-access scanner. Well, what is an on-access scanner? Well, an on-access scanner pretty much just scans your computer, um, in this case for viruses, um, while you're doing whatever. So that's pretty much what it does. And Avast has that. And so it makes the top of my list. And it, there's, you know, its scanner is really good in general. I've read a lot of good reviews on it for a long time, and it seems to work quite well for me. So, um, and the next thing we will go on to now is spyware. Um, super anti-spyware. Wonderful software. Pro, uh, wonderful, some wonderful software. Oh, I'm starting to lose words today. Um, make sure you download the free version, and. Um, what this pretty much does is it's just basically a scanner and uh, that's all you get in the free version really um, I'm, I want to mention some modifications that you might want to make whenever you open up super anti-spyware um, go to preferences and uh, take a look at the startup options here uh, I have unchecked two of them that were uh, checked on default. The first one I unchecked was show super anti-spyware icon and system tray. I just don't really care for it to be in the system tray. I mean I really don't care about it. So I just unchecked that. You don't have to do that. But the one that I really do want you to uncheck is uh, here under uh, start super anti-spyware when Windows starts. You do not want that to be checked if you're using the free version because the only reason why you would need it to start whenever Windows starts is if you are using the real-time protection scanner that they have, um, which is not available in the free version, which is the one that we are going to be using. So make sure that you uncheck that. So that pretty much covers it for super anti-spyware. And we will go on to um, the next spyware software. Um, my next favorite, we're going on to Spybot Search and Destroy. This, uh, the scanner with it, will pretty much get rid of anything that super anti-spyware doesn't get rid of. It also comes with a couple of other features, like it has a immunizer, which is supposed to take preventative measures within your browser to help uh, keep spyware from even getting onto your computer or something like that. Uh, it seems to work pretty well. Um, it also has uh, what's called a resident tea timer which um, pretty much just keeps uh, unwanted software from getting onto your computer without you knowing it. So it works pretty well for me. And uh, the next uh, software uh, that we will move on to is Spyware Blaster. Now this, other than your firewall, is pretty much your first line, def line of defense against spyware from, yeah, so it just pretty much prevents it from ever even getting onto your computer and uh, it works well. It comes up with comes with a couple of uh, extra little features that I don't even use. Um, you might want to take a look at those whenever you um, download and install it. Um, so we are done with uh, antivirus software and spyware software. Let's move on to firewalls. My very favorite firewall is Komodo Firewall. Now what this does is well it's a firewall I'm having to lower my tone of voice because I don't want to get caught you know by my parents this late at night but
but um, this is the best firewall that you can really get, and uh, it's the best free firewall. That is the only problem that some people don't. The only thing that some people don't like about it is that they think that it's annoying, which I do think sometimes it is annoying because whenever you are installing a program, you'll get a little pop-up in the right-hand corner of your screen, and uh, it will uh, pretty much ask you to whether whether you want to allow the program to access you know system data or something like that. Um, make sure that whenever you do that, uh, you select treat um, the application as or something like that. Um, installer or updater and then it will ask you uh, if you want to change to installation mode you want to select yes and then it will change into installation mode and install your program uh, because otherwise if you don't do that um, you'll get continued pop-ups during the installation process and that gets really really annoying but for some people that's a little bit too much so I went ahead and uh, in my list of things I put in my second favorite firewall which is Zomar Oh, as a side note, doesn't work with Vista, so you might want to notice that. But a lot of people like this because it works well. Of course, not quite as well as Komodo, but it works well, and uh, it doesn't give you the annoying little pop-ups like this person says it's replacing Komodo for them because they got mad at the little crazy little pop-ups all the time and it was driving them crazy. So they got this zone alarm. And uh, I haven't used it, but I have a lot of friends, and Hello.com, my friend, um, likes it. So that's a good alternative to Komodo Firewall, especially for users that are not quite as advanced. So that pretty much cuts it for firewalls. Um, the last uh, software I will mention here today is made by Trend Micro. It's called Hijack This. And what it does is it pretty much whenever you if you if you have problems uh, say for example you um, have some spyware or something on your computer that you can't get or get rid of or you just want to analyze your your system and see if you have anything naughty on your computer that you don't know about you might want to use this and um, whenever you use it you'll get a log file and I'll post a link on a site that you can use that you can upload your log file onto and it will analyze the log file and give you some suggestions they're usually user based suggestions and uh, so that you can uh, deal with the uh, software on your computer and it'll help you uh, well the program will help you to get rid of it it works pretty well I mean it's not one of the uh, top downloads on download.com for security software for no reason so it works pretty well for me also I've used it a couple of times to get rid of a couple of things um, so I like it it works well now all of these programs um, can run together quite nicely they've ran together quite nicely on my system the only thing I do not suggest I do not suggest that you run Komodo uh, well two firewalls at the same time. So don't go and install Komodo Firewall and then in install um, the Zone Alarm and have them both running at the same time. That's stupid. Don't do that. Um, install one of them. If you aren't an advanced user, obviously people who are go who do that are probably not advanced users. <laughs> uh, if you're not an advanced user, I do suggest getting Zone Alarm instead of Komodo. But that's pretty much it um, for all of the uh, security software, um, the free security software. So I guess I have nothing else to say. This will be the end of my tutorial. Thanks for listening, guys.